In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and I'm also going to include like a little mini tutorial for you guys on how it applies, like how it blends and also what the end will look like, like the finish of it. And I also would like to share with you a comparison. So I'm going to focus on one side and then you will see the difference on the other side, if it like how the coverage is and also how it performs. So first, I just wanted to talk a bit about the packaging and also give you a close-up. So I am in the shade Porcelain, which is 010, and it's the lightest shade of all six shades. I have to say that when it comes to the shade range, there are not many shades, which is a bit disappointing because there's not really like a light version of it. So the Porcelain is the lightest shade and then it just goes darker from there on. And so if you have a lighter skin tone, then you might not really find your shade or if you are darker depending as well that you won't find your shade. Now this is what it looks like, it comes with a little brush and then this is a tube which you can squeeze and then the product will come out at the top and then you can apply it with the brush, which I do really like because then you don't have to dunk into the product again, you just can like squeeze the tube and then it will come out at the top. Now I'm also going to show you now how it applies on one side. Now of course I have already foundation on so the next step is concealer and as you can see I have some darkness like blue purplish color under my eyes and I'm just going to show you on one side how it covers it up and then you can see it on the other side as well. So I'm just going to use the brush as my applicator and then I'm going to use a damp makeup sponge to blend it. Now when it comes to how the texture feels, I have to say it feels very thick kind of in texture, but then when it comes to the coverage in general, it's a bit like, it's not that it's not giving me enough coverage, it's just like that it's like a little bit disappointing on how the product like feels and then once you're blending it in, it's like very sheer. So this is my only like drawback that I have for the moment because it blends in pretty like nice. I have nothing to say against it. Of course, I do would recommend setting the concealer with translucent powder because otherwise it can crease. Now, I'm also going to use it on top of my eyes because I have some redness going on because of my veins and so on. And that's just how I normally like to use my concealer on top of my eyes and underneath because then it just will even out my skin tone in general and I won't see any like, um, strange colors looking through because then I have an even canvas going on. So now that it's blended in, I haven't set it yet. You can see the difference from this side to this side. I mean, of course, it will kind of brighten up your eye. It also will just change because I had the blueness and the color is a bit more orangey, like very, very slightly into an orangey shade. It just will kind of um, erase the blueness under my eyes, which I do really enjoy. It's just a bit like the texture that's, that is a bit strange because it feels so thick once you're squeezing it out and applying it. And then once you're blending it into the skin, then kind of the coverage disappears. Like you would expect that there's more coverage because it's so thick, but then it just goes away. And for me personally, it feels a bit strange on the skin. So it's not like the concealer that I'm loving. And I've been trying it out now for over a month. I've used it in the beginning like very often also to spot conceal, to see how it goes around my eye area, how I normally would use a concealer. And then I just let it in like in the purse with all my other makeup products. And I just wanted to see how many times I would like go back to the Rimmel concealer. Now the thing is, I personally never really like gotten back to the Rimmel concealer, which is a bit of a shame because I have two of my favorite ones, which is the Bourjois and the Maybelline ones, which are performing way better, but just for my need. I also feel like it's a bit drying for my under eye area because of my skin type. So maybe if you have oily eyelids or if you have an oily skin, then this would perform much better because your skin just will look much nicer. With this one, like the pores right here just looks a bit strange as it will need some moisture. So I'm not really loving the concealer. Um, I'm not saying that it's bad how it blends and also how it performs when it comes to the coverage. I'm just saying it might not be like the love with my skin type. So for me personally, 
I'm not grabbing back to it. So that's all in all what I can tell you. Now, when it comes to the price point, of course, Rimmel is a drugstore-like brand. And I also ordered it for around $9, but it's Australian dollars. So it isn't really expensive and you can't really go wrong with it. I mean, if you want to give it a try, give it a try. You, it's not a high-end product where you will spend a lot of money of it. I just feel like for the price point, it's all right. But for me personally, I just wouldn't really buy it and also I wouldn't like use it again just because I know that I have better ones which are also drugstore as well so you need to figure out if it suits your skin type for me personally I have a bit of a drier skin under my eyes and it just doesn't really perform as like it doesn't really perform as I would love to because then the bourgeois one is a bit more liquidish and moisturizing and I can see a clear difference on how my skin looks under the eyes so for me personally would I tell you to get it well, it depends on your skin type. If you have normal to oily, I would say yes, but if you have like I'm leaning towards a drier side, then I would just would say stay away from it and get one that's a bit more moisturizing. So I just love how it blends. I love the applicator. I just find it a bit sad that they do not really have enough shades. They also could bring out lighter and darker shades just to have a bit of a wider range and uh, maybe also some neutral undertones because this one is a bit more peachy or rather than neutral and sometimes I feel like if you want to brighten up your eyes then it should be a bit brighter and also more like a neutral undertone just to give you an awake look. This one does like um, erase my blueness but it doesn't really give me an awake look which for me personally that's a bit more what I prefer. I'm not saying that I would go in with a white concealer but I just prefer that it's a bit more brightening. So this is the lightest shade that I have so if you're lighter than I am then you probably won't find a shade so far. If they are coming out with other shades, go for it. Otherwise, not really. So I'm like, like on one side, it's very good. On one side, I don't like it. So I just wouldn't buy it again. That's my final point. And I hope that I also could give you an opinion and also idea if you should get it yourself or not. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.